Are you ready to see one of Australia's most famous landmarks? Yes. Okay, you can turn around. It's actually incredible. It's huge. So much bigger than I thought it was. But is it, as I said, the roof, I, I, don't, I don't remember it being like that. I thought it was all went the same way. You, if you know yes, what I mean. Yes, so did I. <laughs> I thought it all, let me get in shot as well. Um, I thought it was all going out towards the ocean. And I didn't realise there was a bit that's come back. It is actually bigger than I thought it was, though. Is it? Yeah, I I don't know why. I just assumed from pictures I'd seen it maybe was just looked big on pictures, but actually, no, it is huge. But it's incredible when you get here and it's not what you think. Um, as I said, you're right. I didn't think about that. I always thought it went that the arches went out to the sea and there wasn't any that came back. And I always thought the roof was smooth, white, and no, it's but not it's white. Tiles. And but it's, it's not even white. It's is like it? whitey pink tile. Yes. Isn't it amazing what your memory? Actually, it's not a memory because I haven't got a memory of it. But when you see it in in pictures, and then when you see something in real life, it is completely different. Yeah. Oh my God. Right, let's get a closer look. We're not forgetting the bridge over there, the Harbour Bridge over there. We're not forgetting it, I promise. So we've just got to the top of the steps and I am in complete shock. Now I thought the Sydney Opera House was all one big building. Me too. And it's not. It's, it's, there's, there's one there, there's one here, and then there's the, the small building there, which is, looks just like a tea and coffee shop. Um, I think someone's get, having a wedding am, there actually. Do you think? It looks like a, a wedding. wedding has been set up. Exciting. That's a cool place to have yeah, a wedding. Really or at least a cool place to say you've had a wedding. But, I, I mean, just, I'm completely shocked at it because it's nothing like what I had in my head that it looked like. You know, as I said, from the way the roof is, I thought it was just completely smooth white. From the fact, as I said, it's individual pieces. And from pieces. pictures I'd seen, I thought it all looked white. From, from what Charlie said, all, we thought all the arches went towards the sea. I, I don't know what to think of it. I really like it. Are you you impressed or are you I'm not really, impressed? I'm really impressed. Because I'm really... sort of going the other way. Oh no, I'm really impressed. I really like, I think it's incredible. It I, I, oh, like. it's, it's so cool. And actually, what I'm impressed about is the architecture of it. Yeah. I think you're not necessarily, in, you, I don't think it's the architecture of it that you're impressed with, I don't think, from what you're saying. I just love the shape of it. I just think it's so See, cool. See, I'm, I'm thinking the way they made it is, is awesome. Because if you look, at the at all the way the concrete construction and it's all gone in in phases and i think that's fascinating in itself but it's just it's not what you expect it's not what i'm say. expecting and i don't know if i if that's for the better or for the worse but you think it's for the better i think it's for the better i really like it oh, i would love to fly my drone and around and it's so nice and warm here which I'd, is probably making everything better for me. <laughs> I'd really like to get my drone around here, but I, Charlie says you can't. No, Sydney Harbour's a restricted area. That's really disappointing. It, my, my app says I can. You might be able to fly it um, in the Botanical Gardens. Yeah. And get a view. Yeah, that would be quite good. Um, I don't know if that still counted as a harbour, really, but we but can I, see. I'm, 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 I'm surprised you can't go all the way to the end. I thought you could no, possibly go all the way to the end and all the way round. You can't do a loop of it. So I'd really like to see like from the water side on the far side. Let's see if we can explore some more. See, we definitely like this for different reasons. Now, Charlie just thinks it looks nice. That's hence why she's on her phone now taking pictures. It's fine, don't worry, you keep going. You keep going, Chaz. But I think it's impressive, the actual construction of it, which you don't really see. 
But I think the fact, especially the outer, um, the outer domes, would you call it a dome? Arch, the ar outer arch. arch. I think it's so impressive because there's no obvious supporting structure. So the way that they have been able to... Oh, I see um, what you mean. There's not like a pole holding up them. No, there's no sort of supporting structure. So they've had to get the support in the actual arch itself. And get it at the right angle to get and, it to stay up. And I just think that's incredible. And the way they've then used the glass, um, the, the, the way it's coming out, the, 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 the diagonals that they've got on, the hexagons. Would you say it's a hexagon? I don't know. Triangles that they've got going on. That's probably better. The triangles they've got going on, it's just stunning, from, especially from this side. This side is better. I love this bit. Which bit? For the three arches in a row. But I love that bit. Yeah. It, it's um, this side. Uh, this side has wowed me a hell of a lot more than the other side because I think you get the, the light coming in, especially now where the sun is. You get the light coming in, uh, and, and it's just. This side is wow. This side is wow. The other side I wasn't as impressed with, and that may sound uh, a bit negative to something that is a sort of a national treasure type thing. But actually, I've come around this side, and it is, it's the construction of it. It's incredible. It really, really is. I, I'm it's sort just of, something I've never seen anything even like no, it, even no. similar. The, that's the thing, isn't it? There is nothing around the world like this. No. If anyone now says in the comments there is something in the, in the world like this, then damn um, but it's I'm almost lost for words I'm talking a lot but probably what I'm saying is pretty flat and, and doesn't actually have any substance but I, yeah I'm just lost for words at how actually this side is just magnificent so now we've seen the Opera House there is obviously one big elephant in the room behind us the Harbour Bridge the coat hanger as it's called what is your first impressions of the coat hanger I don't think I've ever seen a bridge that big. It's quite impressive. We're, we're, we're sort of, I'm too much of a wimp to do a, to do a climb of it. Charlie doesn't want to go on her own. No. I feel a bit bad, but I'm sorry, I can't. I must, it's okay. I just can't do it. I, that high. Maybe if we come back to Australia, someone can do it with me. Yeah, there you go. Maybe someone can volunteer to go with Charlie. Um, but what do you think? What do you think it's about amazing. it? amazing. Like the structure of it is so, is actually incredible. Just so big. Like especially when you look at the size of all the people going up. We've been watching them go up and over. It's huge. But it ca carries loads and loads of... Has it got a train track across it as well? I think it's got tram. Which is in, like, amazing. Oh um, yeah. Yeah, you can see all the tram. There. There's one uh, going across You can across see now. the uh, overhead lines. That's pretty cool. Maybe we can try and go on a tram over it. If I'm not going to go up on it, let's see if we can go over it at least. Okay. That would be pretty cool. When I compare the Harbour Bridge with bridge along the Thames, for example, London Bridge, etc., um, this is on a different scale. Yeah. Because you can see the, 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 how high it is for starters. Um, the way it, the, it doesn't start when the land ends. It starts way back, so it's got the the gradual elevation to, to allow cars to go over and actually have the height. All the boats are able to get straight under. And when you compare it to London bridges, they either have to have the uh, the raised, what would you call it? They lift, don't they? Yeah, I don't they know what you'd call it, but lift. they lift up so the boats can go underneath. Um, and this is just, this more reminds me like um, bridges you see in, in America, or yeah. maybe like New York. New York? Yeah. Yeah, over, over to the islands and stuff, where they start way back, way back further on the land. But it's so impressive. Uh, that's, what a sight, what a sight. And especially to have the Harbour Bridge and the Opera House in one view. Uh, and impressive. then with the, the city behind as well. I think it's just glorious, glorious, I tell you. Well, we've made it to Mrs. Macquarie's chair. I think this is her chair. We think so. You can't see the Opera House or the bridge from here, though. It is a nice view. It is a lovely view. Of, of a tree. Of a tree. Hang on. I think Mrs. Macquarie's point is the real view, isn't it? Yeah. So That's let's, the view of everything. Let's head over there and we'll end the video.